Have you ever wondered why giraffes have such long necks? Or how Arctic foxes turn white in winter? What about why some bacteria can resist antibiotics? The answer lies in one of the most powerful forces in nature, evolution. It's the master sculptor that's been shaping life on Earth for billions of years. And today we're going to uncover its secrets. So we will dive into something truly fascinating, the story of how evolution shapes all life on Earth. In the next few minutes, you'll discover one, how natural selection works and why it's not just survival of the fittest. Two, the role of genetic mutations in creating diversity. Three, amazing examples of evolution in action. And four, how humans are still evolving today. Trust me, by the end of this video, you'll never look at life the same way again. Number one, understanding natural selection. Let's start with the backbone of evolution, natural selection but forget everything you think you know about it being a conscious force. Natural selection is more like nature's quality control system. Here's how it works. One, in any population, individuals have different traits. Two, some of these traits help them survive and reproduce better in their environment. Three, these successful individuals pass their beneficial traits to their offspring. And four, over time, the helpful traits become more common in the population. Think of it like this. Imagine you have a hundred white moths and a hundred dark moths living on light colored tree bark. Birds can easily spot and eat the dark moths while the white moths blend in. Over time, what happens? More white moths survive to have babies passing on their camouflage genes. That's natural selection in action. Number two, the power of genetic mutations. Here's where it gets really interesting. Where do these different traits come from in the first place? The answer lies in something that sounds scary but is actually amazing, mutations. Every time DNA replicates, there's a tiny chance of a mistake, a mutation. Most mutations don't do much, some are harmful, but occasionally we get a beneficial mutation that gives an organism an advantage. Let's look at a real example. In 1975, scientists discovered bacteria that could eat nylon, a material that didn't even exist before 1935. Through random mutations, these bacteria evolved the ability to digest this completely artificial material. Now, how amazing is that? Number three, amazing adaptations in nature. Let's look at some mind-blowing examples of evolution in action. The peppered moth revolution. During the industrial revolution, trees in English cities became covered in soot. Within decades, the previously rare dark moths became common because they were better camouflaged. When air pollution laws cleaned up the environment, the light moths became common again. The Antarctic ice fish. These remarkable fish evolved clear blood without hemoglobin, something that would kill most animals but helps them survive in super cold waters. Antibiotic resistance. We're watching evolution happen right now as bacteria evolve to resist our medicines, a perfect example of natural selection in real time. If you're finding this journey through evolution fascinating, make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. We've got tons more amazing science coming your way. Number four, human evolution today. Well, by now you might be thinking, aren't humans done evolving? Not even close. We're evolving right now, and the evidence is written in our DNA. Let's start with one of the most remarkable examples. Lactose tolerance, the ability to digest milk as an adult, evolved independently in multiple human populations. In Europe, this happened just 5,000 to 10,000 years ago. Think about that in evolutionary terms. That's like yesterday. Today, up to 95% of Northern Europeans can digest milk, while in some Asian and African populations, it's less than 10%. This is evolution responding to different cultural practices and food availability. But that's just the beginning. Let's look at high altitude adaptations. Tibetan populations living at elevations over 13,000 feet have evolved unique genetic adaptations that help them thrive in low oxygen environments. Their bodies use oxygen more efficiently, and they don't develop the chronic mountain sickness that affects most lowlanders at high altitudes. Here's something even more current. Our immune systems are constantly evolving to fight new diseases. Research has shown that populations exposed to different pathogens throughout history have evolved different immune responses. For example, some populations have evolved enhanced immunity to specific diseases like malaria, while others have developed resistances to autoimmune disorders. And here's where it gets really interesting we're seeing brand new evolutionary pressures in our modern world like changes in sleep patterns due to artificial light, adaptations to processed food diets, 
and potential cognitive adaptations to information-rich environments. The fascinating thing is that modern technology and medicine aren't stopping evolution. They're just changing the pressures that drive it. We're not just passive observers of evolution, we're active participants in our own evolutionary story. So there you have it. Evolution isn't just some ancient force that shaped dinosaurs millions of years ago. It's happening right now all around us and even within us. The next time you see a butterfly's perfect camouflage or hear about a new antibiotic-resistant bacteria, remember, you're witnessing evolution in action. Nature's endless experiment in survival and adaptation. If you enjoyed this exploration of evolution, quickly press the like button and keep coming back to our channel for more such videos. Till then, keep evolving.